Safety gear is not just about checking a box. It's about protecting your most valuable asset, you. Whether in your garage or a professional setting, the right protective equipment can be the difference between a close call and a disaster. Sometimes, store-bought safety gear isn't enough. That's where DIY comes in. By designing your own gear, you're ensuring a perfect fit and taking ownership of your safety. There's nothing more empowering than knowing your gear is a product of your own ingenuity. Before we even think about materials or designs, we need to get real about the dangers lurking in our workshops, labs or project spaces. This isn't about being paranoid, it's about being prepared. Start by listing every potential hazard. Are you dealing with sharp tools, flying debris, chemicals, heat, electricity? Each risk requires a specific defence, so be thorough. Next, consider the severity of each hazard. A minor cut is one thing, but what about a potential eye injury or a serious burn? This assessment will guide your choices in materials and design. Remember, underestimating risks is a rookie mistake. When it comes to safety, overprepare, don't underprotect. Your well-being depends on it. Choosing the right materials is like casting the right actors for a movie. It can make or break the entire production. You need materials that are strong enough to protect, comfortable enough to wear, and compatible with your chosen manufacturing method. Let's start with the basics, impact resistance. For protection against flying objects, you'll want something tough, like polycarbonate for face shields or thick leather for gloves. Next up, heat resistance. Welding, metalworking, or even cooking can expose you to extreme temperatures. Look into materials like Nomex or Kevlar for gloves and aprons or heat-resistant glass for face shields. And don't forget about chemicals. If you're working with solvents, acids or other corrosive substances, you'll need materials that can resist degradation. Nitrile gloves, for instance, offer excellent chemical resistance. Remember, each material has its strengths and weaknesses. Research thoroughly, consider the specific risks you identified earlier and choose wisely. Section 4. Ergonomics and comfort gear that works with you. OK, you've got your materials, you've got your design, but if your safety gear is uncomfortable, you're less likely to wear it consistently. And let's be honest, inconsistent protection is barely protection at all. Ergonomics is all about designing gear that works with your body, not against it. This means considering the natural movements of your hands, arms and head when designing gloves, sleeves or helmets. Think about padding in high-impact zones, flexibility in areas requiring a wide range of motion, and breathability to prevent discomfort from heat and sweat. Remember, the goal is to create gear that feels like an extension of yourself, not a clunky hindrance. After all, the most effective safety gear is the gear you actually wear. Section 5 Modern Manufacturing 3 D. Printing Your Safety Net we live in a world where you can print objects at home, revolutionising DIY safety gear. 3D printing allows custom design pieces with precision and complexity. Imagine a helmet that fits perfectly or gloves offering maximum dexterity. The possibilities are only limited by your imagination. There's a wide range of materials available from durable plastics like ABS and PLA to flexible filaments like TPU. Even carbon fibre reinforced materials for extra strength. 3D printing is becoming increasingly affordable, with desktop printers for hobbyists and professionals alike. It's like having a personal safety gear factory on your workbench. Section 6. Certification and Compliance – Meeting the Standards Now, before you go full-on safety gear artisan, there's a crucial aspect we need to address. Certification and Compliance. Just because you've built something awesome doesn't automatically make it safe for use in specific environments. Depending on your field and the potential hazards involved, your DIY safety gear might need to meet certain standards and regulations. This could involve impact testing, chemical resistance tests, or even electrical insulation checks. Research the specific safety standards relevant to your work and materials. There are organisations like ANSI, OSHA and NIOSH that set the bar for safety equipment in various industries. 
Remember, while DIY safety gear offers incredible customization and control, it's crucial to prioritize safety and compliance. Always err on the side of caution and ensure your creations meet the necessary standards for your protection.